Welcome to a new episode from English Plus Podcast. Today's episode is from the Do You Know series, and we will talk about volcanoes today. Now, remember, before we start talking about volcanoes, that you can find a PDF downloadable worksheet on the website. You can find the link in the description of the episode. Go to our website, EnglishPlusPodcast.com. You can find the show notes, the PDF downloadable worksheets, and more. And also, you will find a link to our Patreon page. Well, there's great news for you if you decide to become a patron. Starting from next week, we will start our mini-series. Every week, we will have a mini-series that is premium only for our patrons. Next week, we're going to have Business English Marketing. This mini-series will be eight episodes that will talk about all the business English language that you need to talk about marketing. The week after, we will have a mini-series talking about 100 events that change the world. So not all of them are going to be to teach you just English because this is English Plus. This is about education. It's about knowledge, culture, literature, and of course, English. So if you don't want to miss out on these benefits, go to our Patreon page and become a patron of English Plus Podcast today. Now, without further ado, Let's start with our episode for today. And as I told you, today's episode is from the Do You Know series, and we will talk about volcanoes. Suddenly, the top of a mountain blows off. A ball of fire goes up into the air. Dark clouds of dust, ash, and cinders cover the sky. Rivers of fire pour down the sides of the mountain. This is what can happen when a volcano erupts. Erupting volcanoes have killed thousands of people. The dust and ash have buried whole towns. Scientists think that more than 1,500 volcanoes have erupted in the past 10,000 years. Mount Vesuvius in Italy erupted in 79 AD. It destroyed the city of Pompeii and other Roman towns. Mount St. Helens, a volcano in Washington state, erupted in 1980. It destroyed the forests around it and killed more than 50 people. Erupting volcanoes have caused terrible disasters. And now what makes a volcano? Hot, melted rock makes a volcano. The melted rock is called magma. The magma comes from deep inside Earth. It is very hot deep inside Earth. The magma pushes up through cracks in solid rock. It collects in big underground spaces. The spaces are called magma chambers. The hot magma melts a tube through the rock up to the surface. Suddenly, it blasts up the tube and comes out of the ground. The magma coming out is called an eruption. Sometimes the magma makes a big explosion. Sometimes the magma pours out like a river of fire. Rocks, dust, ash, steam, and other hot gases can also blow out of a volcano. Once magma erupts from a volcano, it is called lava. The lava cools and hardens into rock. A volcano can erupt many times. The lava can build up to make a mountain. Many mountains made by volcanoes have a bowl-shaped dip in their top called a crater. There are different kinds of volcanoes. Volcanoes can be different shapes and sizes. Some volcanoes do not even look like mountains. Now, what are the kinds of volcanoes? Some volcanoes have a cone shape. Mount Fuji in Japan is a cone-shaped volcano. Mount St. Helens is also cone-shaped. Some volcanoes look like a mound with gently sloping sides. They look a little like round shields carried by ancient warriors. These volcanoes are called shield volcanoes. Mauna Loa and Kiloya, two volcanoes in Hawaii, are shield volcanoes. Sometimes a volcano blows out all of its magma. Part of all of the mountain collapses into the empty magma chamber underground. All that is left is a pit in the ground. The pit is called a caldera. Crater Lake in Oregon is a caldera that filled up with water. Sometimes lava and pieces of rock flow out of a volcano like a flood. The lava and rock pieces can cover a huge area. They make big, flat plains called volcanic plateaus. The Columbia Plateau in the states of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho is a volcanic plateau. Now, where do volcanoes form? Some volcanoes are on land. Many more volcanoes are under the ocean. Some of these volcanoes are underwater mountains. Some of these volcanoes are big cracks in the ocean floor. There are many volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean. Volcanoes form only in certain places. 
They form because Earth is actually a big ball of partly melted rock surrounded by a crust of solid rock. Earth's crust is broken into gigantic plates. The plates slowly slide around on the partly melted rock deep inside Earth. Volcanoes often form at the edges of the plates. In some places, the plates move apart. Lava comes out of the cracks between the plates. There are big cracks where plates are splitting apart under the Atlantic Ocean. Lava pours out of these cracks. The lava cools and hardens in the water and makes new seafloor. In some places, the plates come together. Sometimes the edge of one plate slips under another plate. The edge goes deep into the hot earth and melts. It makes magma. The magma pushes up into spaces in the rock. When there is lots of magma, it erupts to make a volcano. Mount St. Helens was made this way. Sometimes one of Earth's plates moves over an especially hot spot deep in Earth. The hot spot blows up hot magma. The magma melts through the crust and erupts. The Hawaiian Islands were made by a hot spot. Lava from the hot spot built up into mountains on the Pacific Ocean floor. The Hawaiian Islands are really the tops of volcanoes. Scientists have found volcanoes on Mars and other planets. They have even found volcanoes on moons of Jupiter and Neptune. And now for our final question. Do all volcanoes erupt? Now, some volcanoes are always erupting. These are called active volcanoes. Mount Etna in Italy is an active volcano. Some volcanoes have not erupted since prehistoric times. These are called extinct volcanoes. Most of the Hawaiian islands are extinct volcanoes. These volcanoes no longer have a hot spot under them. They cannot erupt anymore. Some volcanoes have not erupted for a long time, but they could erupt again. These are called dormant volcanoes. Scientists try to figure out when volcanoes will erupt. Studying volcanoes is hard and dangerous work. Scientists drill into volcanoes. They make maps of the inside of the volcano. They use satellites to study volcanoes from space. Scientists have been able to predict a few eruptions, but it is not easy to tell what a volcano might do. So that was our story about volcanoes. I hope you liked the story, and I really hope that you take it a step further. Go to our website, EnglishPlusPodcast.com. You can find the link in the description of the episode. You will find there not only the story that I just told you about volcanoes, but you will find a PDF downloadable worksheet that you can use to practice your listening. You can listen and do exercises at the same time. That will definitely help your listening skill. So take the link you can find in the description. Go to English Plus Podcast and take your English with it to the next level. And don't forget, we have great things coming up for our patrons on Patreon. So go to our Patreon page and become a patron and start getting our exciting miniseries starting from next week. With that being said, I would like to thank you very much for listening to another episode from English Plus Podcast. This is your host, Danny. I will see you next time. 